I just stumbled upon this very useful generative AI tool, GuestLab, and let me say this that this is one of the very few very useful tool out there at the moment. The use case is very simple and it relates to very well especially with my channel. For example, I do a lot of informal fireside chat interviews with a lot of people from different backgrounds, fields and normally what I do, I go to their profile on LinkedIn, I go to um, you know github repository or various other medium to get information from them sometimes i use some sort of llm to formulate my questions but still it takes a lot of time and it becomes quite a um, time in, uh, intensive process to get the questions right because the better the questions will be the better outcome of the podcast or interview will be so this tool gives you a head start and generates well-crafted introductions, interesting topics and insightful questions from your guest's online presence. The best thing is that you don't need to pay any credit card. You can start for free, which is great because as long as we are testing the tool, we shouldn't be paying anything. So I will shortly show you what exactly this tool is about. But before that, let's have some other quick looks. So already people are loving it. They have this wall of love where a lot of people have given their testimonials. Looks like a good tool and these look like genuine uh, feedback because it doesn't look like you know AI generated or any sort of uh, stuff like that. It has been built by Mubs and Sharath. So good stuff guys. Now the pricing is quite nice. So free version you just get one project and one guest per month to research and also one AI generated introduction, five AI generated topics and 10 AI generated questions. Okay. This is a bit less. I would like at least 20, but that is fine. Still good enough. It doesn't monitor any LinkedIn activity or that sort of stuff, but the pro version, which is just $20 per month. And I presume it is US dollars. You can have 10 guests, 10 project and lot of other stuff. And you can download it as PDF, custom input, 28 generated questions. So this looks good. And then it jumps straight to $500 per month where you can um, do like 100 guests. And then you can have a lot of other stuff like LinkedIn activity and whatever is included here in the left hand side bit plus bit more like instant lightning support. Soon there will be YouTube as a source and Chrome extension, which looks good. Nice. Okay. And then if you go here, okay, this is the same one. So this is what I wanted to show. This is how it works. It provides you, of course, it saves time, hidden insights, great questions that I just mentioned. And then you just provide a link. Then you click on generate and it, it gives you introduction into your guest, interesting topics, insightful questions. Cool. Okay, now let's get started to see how it works. Now I'll just click on get started here and then let it load. Let me sign up with my email address. Once you sign up, you'll be presented with this screen. Let me make it a bit bigger to better see it. There you go. So you can add your project, like you can do podcast, community event, newsletter and some other things. I'll just go with podcast for now. Okay, so I'll just say um fireside chat or interview does it find mine or not nope no it's just go some okay i'll just okay so these are the stuff where it is searching it so i just Fire, so come on, fireside chat. I'll just go with the uh, anyone good one. Well, maybe I'll just go with fireside and LinkedIn. So I'm just going to paste my own LinkedIn as a guest, and then I'll just say add custom input set. Okay, I'll just say AI engineer. So it is not letting me do the guest persona or target audience, maybe due to my free account. And let's click on generate. There you go. 
So the AI bots are collecting guest history. This takes usually about a minute. So it is, and then it will be generate the introduction, compile topic, compile question. It should be fun. So let's wait for it to finish. Cool. There you go. So the intro is that. Welcome to today's episode. We have a Swad Mirza, is highly skilled professional whose expertise lies at the intersection of this. Holding under it, and that's nice. And then it goes on and on. Yep, that's correct. Yep, my location is correct. Beautiful. Now my insights. And then it is just going in, 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 in like. So it has just pulled in my all LinkedIn stuff. Now these are the questions which I'm interested in. And then all that stuff about it as what exactly. Okay, still pretty good, but I think a lot of stuff can be done with it, in my humble opinion. And I think these are the questions which are quite nice, but if you even if you go with uh, uh, ChatGPT or LLM, you get a similar one, but these ones are very terse and concise, which like which makes it quite good. So I'm I'm happy with it. So that is nice. So that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think i think pretty good tool i just have um, one guest to add so i already have consumed my credits for this month but play around with it let me know your thoughts very keen to know and if you exactly if you know of any other tool let me know and i'll be happy to review it and use it now if i go through their website there are a lot more things that you can read around their blogs and stuff especially from the up and there is also this roadmap. So if I take you to the roadmap, let's wait for it to load. There you go. So this is nice. So you can see that this is the roadmap that, you know, people are asking the YouTube videos as source and then more flexible per episode plan, which is, which will be nice, I believe. And ability to remove a project, have my tone when creating intro and question. I think this is the must, I believe. It's, because this is what is <clears throat> I found it lacking where um, you know when we generated it because there was no tone it was just like regurgitation of my LinkedIn profile which is fine but I think adding more personal touch and tone is very important so I totally agree with this one and then and, and I think it will this is a this is also good that it will be good to search articles about me online or my blog maybe one more link would help so that it will have multiple context anyway that's it um, let me know what do you think if you like the content then please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as that helps a lot thanks for watching